Hello YouTube, this is Brandon Clea Shaw back with you again to do more unraveling on Nectar's Pacer and want to uh, look at a helpful website for you today. So if we go to Nectar Pacer Support and then say, hey, I want to look at creating and customizing my presets for Pacer, then they tell us, well, let's go to uh, Francois Gregory's uh, Pacer Editor, and we're going to go there. Okay, first thing we see here is his advice on how to set up your Pacer, uh, Pacer MIDI in and out and so forth uh, for Windows and for, for Mac. So make sure that you're following those directions when that comes up for you when you click on the next um, on the next page. That's not gonna work for me because I've already set it up to work just fine, um, but make sure you go ahead and do that. Also want to uh, tell you to be sure that you're using Chrome um, as your browser. As he says, don't try to use Safari or any of the other browsers that are, out, that are out there. This is set up to work with Chrome, and if you try to do it with something else, chances are it will not work for you. Okay. So we can go first and we can click on overview. Right now we just see the presets, how they would be when you first got your when you first get your pacer. And you can realize that this isn't, you know, this might not jive with what you have, what you have now. Um, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna read all the presets from Pacer. I have so I'm plugged into my pacer, uh, into my computer, and then read all the presets, and then it gets the individual presets that you're gonna have on your computer. Now, if you sorry, that you're that you're going to have on your pacer. Now, if you haven't done anything to your pacer, if you haven't customized it, it's going to look, you know, rather like it was before. Um, as you see here, um, I have different customizations. These are ones that I've uh, made and that I've put on my website. You can go back here to brandonxshaw.com, look at sound, and then go through um, the article that has the these, most about the customizations. It's here setting up ne uh, Nectar's Pacer with Ableton Live. You can click on that site and then you'll see uh, some information about the Pacer itself, about Ableton Live, and then how I set up uh, my Pacer and why I did it this way. The website goes into more detail than what I have on this, uh, which you might have seen already on YouTube. I went through and did a lot of more customization uh, for this, and I want to go back and, and make a longer, um, a longer tutorial to show you why I did that and how I did it. But this um, gives you gives you more options. Okay, so let's jump ahead into the uh, into the into the the web application here. This is uh, Francois Georgi uh, at github.io and so forth. So just I'll put the link down there so you can copy that. And you see here the information on each of the presets uh, that you have. So this is the preset curve. That's the current preset. Um, and then this is the foot switches one through four, the expression pedal, how I have this set up, and then each of the individual um, foot switches that can be customized. So the, the preset foot switch which we see here, it's just off screen, but the preset foot switch you, you cannot customize, but the other, the other presets you are able to customize. Um, <clears throat> and so we, we see those, those options there. What I want to look at today is how to change a control. How do I get um, one of these to do something different from what it's doing right now? Um, so let's say I wanna switch one of these two switches here. I'm gonna go under controls and then click on uh, to read A1. So this is reading Ableton here. And then I want to go to the control that I would like to change. So in this instance, I'm gonna change five. And this is the information that comes up for it. it says controller. So this is O2 and then 127 for down and zero for, for off. Let's say that I wanna make this something, something quite different. I wanna make this no longer a trigger switch, but I'm gonna make it a toggle switch. So a toggle switch is gonna go on and off, it'll send a 127 message to turn it on and a zero message to turn it off. So I'm gonna switch it to a toggle switch and we'll give it just a random CC uh, value for now. Let's say we're gonna give it, uh, you know, I don't know, 69, something like that. And then the off, so the on value here, this is the first message that it's gonna send out is 127, 127 says go. And then if you press it again, it's gonna say zero. It's gonna say turn off, okay? MIDI channel for me, I leave alone, that's over zero. And the LED lights, I'm gonna say, I want it to be just something so you guys can see it. Let's go from a, um, a dim red when it is off to a bright red 
width, I'll just call it red, when it's on. Okay, so, so far if I switch over to let you see my pacer here, nothing's changed yet, right? We still see the same numbers. If I press this here, I don't see any of these values. I don't see the 69 coming up or the 127 is still on a CC value of 0, 2. Okay, so what, did it go wrong, not work? No, indeed, it did work. What I need to do is update pacer. Okay, and then what we see here is we get these three flashing lights, right? That means that new information has been sent. It does not mean that it has been stored or activated. This is still blue, right? So we know that nothing has changed here. What I need to do is press this button once, press it again, and then this is turned to a dim red. It's off now. I press the button and we see it has our CC value of 69 and it has sent 127, right? That's turning it on. I press it again and it turns off and it's dim. So this is now a toggle switch. It's gonna to toggle on and off. Unlike this switch here, which is just gonna send a trigger, right? It sends a trigger one time. Okay. So I hope that is helpful for you guys. I just want to go back and look at one more thing, which might sort of be a bit of a confusion for you. Um, if you if you put in a value here on, on the web app that doesn't make sense, if I say my value is, I don't know, A, right? I try to put in a letter. I try to put in something that doesn't make sense to the, to the website. It's going to put this N-A-N -N in there which I can only assume means not a number, right? It doesn't, it doesn't realize, it doesn't, can't compute that, as Prince would say, right? We don't know what this means. So I need to put in a zero so it's gonna make sense for the computer. Then it can send this information into the pacer, um, into the pacer here and have that make sense for it. Okay, so I uh, wanna give a big thanks to Francois Georgi, wherever you are in the world, because this is a really cool um, website that you've, web app that you've made, it's very helpful. Um, I, you know, at first it wasn't working for me that well, and I think part of it was I didn't understand it. There could be some more um, explanations that might be a little bit help, more helpful, but I hope that this tutorial is, um, is good for everybody so that you can get in there and, and change and make these, uh, make these switches really quickly. Um, just one more thing is you also can load presets from a file. I've mentioned this in the, the previous tutorial um, that I did that was looking kind of more bottom-up programming for the for the pacer, but you can also load your load your own files in there. There's no reason why you can't do this for any uh, anything on your pacer. Um, I've done it for expression pedals, right? If you look at my expression pedal there, that has a it has its own CC value of number six. So whenever I'm using a, a DAW, I can set um, channel six or CC value six to uh, any like a master volume or something like that and that will um, always change the volume regardless of what I'm doing. You can also assign these values to different, um, to change with different presets. So when you go up a preset, it might be five, and then you go up another preset and it's gonna be six. Um, so the really the sky's the limit for you um, along those, those lines. Cool, all right, I think that it's got it. I hope that is helpful for you guys. If it is, let me know, give me a like and subscribe. And uh, yeah, feel free to give a comment. We're figuring this stuff out together. So you got some good ideas or questions, um, I'll try to answer them. If I can't, hopefully somebody else can. All right, you guys take care.